Good afternoon. Justin Hansen is serving the maximum 18 years for attacking Brittany Marcel with a shovel. Now he's asking the judge to reduce his sentence because it's too hard on his family. News 13's Francesca Washington is live downtown at District Court. Francesca. Kim, an emotion filed just days ago. Hansen says his children are suffering. He also wants credit for the time he spent on a GPS monitor. He received the maximum sentence. I am going to impose the full 18 years in the Department of Corrections. For nearly beating then 17-year-old Brittany Marcel to death with a shovel in her home 10 years ago. September 11th, my dreams and goals were beaten out of me. Now Justin Hansen is asking the judge to reconsider and shorten his 18-year sentence. In a motion filed last week, he says his family is suffering while he's behind bars. You always forever be daddy's little girl. I want you to know. According to court documents, his oldest daughter is taking it the hardest. He claims she's been diagnosed with PTSD and is seeing a therapist. But in an APD interview from before Hansen's arrest, an ex-girlfriend who's the mother of one of his other children told police he's a bad seed who gave up his parental rights to their child. The only thing that I can tell you about Justin is he does lie a lot. Hansen is also asking for credit for the year he spent on house arrest before his trial and sentencing arguing his freedom was limited by a GPS monitor and a requirement to seek permission before leaving his house. But that monitor didn't keep him from going on dates to Isotopes games. After I've pretty much been locked up for like 10 years and I scared out of my mind to go do stuff, well, he's out there walking around like nothing's happened. While Hansen is trying to shave time off his sentence. Well, the 18 years is, I personally don't think that's enough, but it's a starter. Hansen is currently serving his sentence at the state prison in Hobbs. A hearing for this motion is set for December 13th. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Francesca. Now, as you would expect, in a statement sent to News 13 this afternoon, the DA's office says it will fight to make sure Hansen spends every day of his sentence behind bars.